I grew up, I was crazy about sports. When I was 12, Hofjellet had a park, and we were so excited to go up there. It was like super small jumps and small rails, but for us it was so new. I remember when I cleared the first box for the first time, like, yes! <laughs> Our sport is kind of like painting. It's an empty canvas. You have to figure out, what can I do on this course? What do I want to show the world? And then you just start painting. You don't have to do the same thing over and over again. It's all about doing creative things and doing different things on all the features. It's such a nice feeling when you finally are able to do a thing that you have been dreaming about. You just get such a rush inside your body. 2010, I went down to Lax. I was 17 at that time. I won the qualification and came fifth, and that was kind of my kickoff on my international comp scene. I did my first U tour, I went back to European Free Ski Open the year after, and I managed to win it. Then Olympics in Sochi, I got fifth. Oh, I am a 1X Games, which is a big deal. It is the one event I've been watching growing up. To be able to walk away with the gold was, it was very special. So to be able to be on your top of your game in slow, you have to have variety. Because in a course where it's four jumps, you can spin four different directions. You also have to put your own style on it. So the judges see that you stand out. You express yourself in your own way. When you go that fast and you enter the takeoff, it really goes silent when you're in the air. And that's such a lovely moment. You have to be strong everywhere in your whole body. To maintain that strength and that flexibility is for me a way to try and stay injury free. Twenty seventeen was a really good year for me. I was really stoked because we had the Olympic qualification. So I already knew that I had a really good position. Then in late March, I was going to go to this event and I didn't know that when I woke up that morning, that's the day when uh, everything changed. So I was in Italy. We warmed up a little bit. But then I was going to do a switch five. I turned to switch and I came in backwards in the bottom before the jump. It all of a sudden turned to slush and that made me slow down so much. That made me land on the knuckle. I felt that something was wrong. So I went and checked it when I got back home and the doctor said, your ACL is gone. Okay, that's at least six to 12 months out. It would take at least eight months until I was back at any kind of level. So that means I have to come back and be able to qualify those two months before Olympics. So two months before the Olympics, I had three chances to qualify. I failed the first one, I failed the second one, and then it was only two weeks to the games and I had one last chance. Actually, I kind of gave up a little bit. It felt like, okay, maybe I'm not gonna make it. So I went out there, I still did my best. I needed to release that pressure. And finally I could do a run that I was really happy with. And I ended up fourth, which gave me that Olympic spa. When you look at the pictures from the competition, we looked at her smile. <laughs> Let me see, <laughs> but uh, she is back. We were very proud. It was just a big victory for me to be there, but I managed to qualify first and grab the highest score I've ever had in my entire career. It's quite hard to believe that I actually made this journey looking back at it. You come back stronger, and I feel stronger than I've ever been before. And in that sense, I guess I can thank this injury that it actually happened.
because I am a different person on the other side.